forward lower leg. Inhale here, lateral breath, backs and sides of ribs. Shoulders are staying nice and relaxed, head is relaxed, collarbones are wide. Exhale, little tiny squeeze into that fitness circle. Think about lifting through pelvic floor, transverse abdominis connecting. One more time, a nice big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, connect into pelvic floor, connect into transverse abdominis. And now let's try and keep that for the remainder of the workout if we can. We're going to do a roll down here. So you're going to inhale, and you can find your head as an exhale, you're going to acknowledge your chin. Imagine peeling yourself off an invisible wall behind you. Scooping your belly very deeply. Imagine you've got one of those squishy balls at your belly, and you're trying to hold up and over the ball. You want that nice lifted sensation in your belly when you get to the bottom. Even if you can touch down, don't touch down just yet. Maybe pull one hand in the other. Let your head, your torso, your shoulders be very heavy. Allow it to gently stretch the backs of your legs and your torso moves closer towards the mat. You're going to take a nice big deep breath here into the backs and sides of your ribs. As you exhale, you're going to bend your knees, tuck your tail, step up. Nice and smooth. Roll those shoulders back. Now, from here, we're going to do a little lift and lower. So it's going to take a minute to get your balance. But I want you to inhale and just lift those heels, keep pushing into the fitness circle, and then lower back. If it helps to add your arms, it may, it may not. It will definitely help to find a focal point on the floor. Inhale to lift up. Connecting into your pelvic floor and transverse abdominis will help the balance and lower down. Nothing's happening to those shoulders. It's just your arms. Shoulders are staying nice and neutral on your rib cage. And down. We're going to do two more. Don't let the pace at the beginning of this class fool you. And lower down. Just enjoy the warm up. Inhale. And then exhale, lower back down. We're going to add a little bend and stretch now. So your tablet's going to be very heavy. You're just going to bend your knees. Knees are tracking straight ahead. And then lift back. Bend your knees. And straight back up. It's like you're sliding against a wall. So it's not an athletic squat just yet. Just try to warm up those legs. And then we're going to combine the two moves. So we'll bend our knees first, and then we'll lift through neutral, and then up into that releve. Lower the heels, we get to lower the arms, bend the knees. Feel the lifting sensation through your legs, and that fitness circle is helping give you, feel very connected into your core. We're just gonna do one more. And then lower your heels to neutral. Arms are going to come down. Inhale. Exhale, knock your chin. Hold it. When you get to the bottom, grab that fitness circle. Walk your feet into about hip distance. Bend your knees, tuck your tail. Roll yourself up. Roll those shoulders back. Now you're going to take your fitness circle. Yes, I'm trying to find the answer. Yes. Oh, I said show me the Thank you. No, there isn't. So thank you. I just assumed if there was someone in the waiting room, it would pop up in the waiting room. <laughs> so you're going to bring the fitness circle in front of your chest. Your elbows are nice and wide. Shoulders are. Down and back, feet are hip distance apart. Spread your toes nice and wide, little micro bend in your knees. We're going to start with a little tiny squeeze into that fitness circle. Exhale. Inhale, release, but don't release all the way. Keep some tension. Exhale. Waking up all those little muscles in the backs of our arms. Exhale. Inhale, release. As you exhale, you press into the fitness circle. Feel the pelvic floor lifting. And the transverse abdominis connecting more deeply. 
Exhale. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. They're away from your ears. Collarbones are wide. You can be here all day. Exhale. One more time. You're gonna squeeze into that fitness circle. You're gonna release only to about 10%. Keep tension, and then you're gonna lengthen that lever. So we're not protracting. Our shoulders are still very stacked over our hips, and we're gonna do little tiny pulses into the into the fitness circle. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Longer lever just means more work. So feel the backs of the shoulders. Keep lifting your pelvic floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to reach within the circle overhead. We're going to take an opportunity just to add a little bit of side bend. So you're going to inhale here, so it's with ears. Exhale, side bend. Think up and over. Inhale, curve the bottom of the muscles, come up through center. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, up. One more time, each direction. Up and over. Go flex the back side. Waist. Inhale, up. Last time. Inhale up, we're going to bring the fitness circle right back down in front of you. We're going to go back to that little bend and stretch, but we're going to layer on and layer on and layer on. So we're going to start by inhaling, and then as you exhale, with 10% squeeze on the fitness circle, you're going to rotate. Keep your hips and knees pointing forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate in the other direction. Your hips and knees pointing forward, rotating through this coming only from your torso. Now this time, as you rotate, add a squeeze of the fitness circle. Inhale, back to center. Release the fitness circle, only to 10%. Exhale, Inhale, back to center. Now you're gonna rotate, squeeze, and bend. Knees pointing forward. Come back to center, release. Exhale, bend, squeeze, rotate. Inhale, exhale, then rotate, squeeze. Now to stand your arms long, come back to center, stand up tall, bring the fitness circle in, release. Exhale, bend, squeeze, rotate, lengthen. Come back through center, stand up, bring the fitness circle in. One more time, each direction. Bend, rotate, squeeze, reach. Come back through center, stand up, bring the fitness circle in, inhale, exhale, bend, squeeze, rotate back to center, stand up, bring it in, take your fitness circle, place it on your right hip. Just hold on to it gently with your right hand. Left hand is going to come behind your head. And we're going to do a little side bend with a squeeze into the fitness circle. So you're going to side bend and squeeze. And then stand up. You're going to lower down a little bit. And up. Side bend and squeeze. And up. I want you to feel the axilla muscle. So that's the muscle under your armpit. And you have one more here. And up, switch sides. Place it on your hip or maybe a little bit lower. Right arm comes behind your head, left arm pressing into the fitness circle. Side bend. Exhale, really press into the fitness circle and back. Feel the axilla muscle. And up. And you have one more here. And bring it all the way up. Now you're going to take your fitness circle and we're going to come down onto the mat. We're going to roll down so make sure you've got some um, mat behind you. Take the fitness circle up in front. Just a nice little squeeze on it. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, sit very, very tall. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone into your sneaker and then roll yourself all the way down. Go nice and slow, scoop your belly, low back, lower thoracic, mid thoracic, all the way down. I want you to take your fitness circle and place it just above your.
Nice big squeeze so it doesn't go flying. Obviously, your legs are going to be wider than hip distance. Your feet are flat, and you want to bring them in a little bit closer to your body. Because when we come up into our bridge, we want to make sure that our knees are over our ankles. So I want you to immediately think about tracking your heels towards your body. You'll feel glutes, you'll feel hamstring, and this fitness circle is going to make your inner thighs scream. So you have a nice, heavy tail, so spine, curve in your lumbar spine. Arms are long by your side. We're going to start weighting up those inner thighs. So you have about a 10% squeeze happening on your fitness circle right now. I want you to go very, very slowly and begin squeezing into the fitness circle. So go to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, get to your maximum squeeze. You're probably shaking and then resist the fitness circle as you release to 10%. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Squeeze. Go slow. Go smooth. As you feel your inner thighs connecting, feel transverse abdominals, and then release to 10%. We're going to do that three more times. Feet are nice and light. Try not to grip into the mat. Arms are light. Tailbone is nice and heavy, squeeze. You're probably getting some outer thigh as well. And release. And the more you do this, the more you're going to get shaking in your legs. Last time, 20, 30, 40. We're going super slow, all the way to our maximum contraction here. And then we're going to release, but just to 10%. We always want some tension on that fitness circle. Take a nice big deep breath in here. We're going to hip roll. As you exhale, tuck your tail. Move through your imprint. Keep the 10% squeeze on the fitness circle. Lift your hips up into your bridge. So come into your highest bridge position. One long line, shoulders to knees. Ribs knitting together, lifting through pelvic floor. Nice squeeze on the fitness circle. You're squeezing the heck out of your glutes, opening through your hips. Inhale. Exhale, stop at your sternum and pull yourself down. You're trying to go bone by bone, really articulating through your spine. When you get to the bottom, tailbone's heavy. Restore that lumbar curve. One more time in here. Exhale, tuck your tail, move through your imprint, squeeze into the fitness circle, peel yourself up off the mat. You've got that lovely squeeze into the fitness circle. Arms are long beside you or float them to the ceiling. It just gives you a little bit of a balance challenge. Keep those shoulders nice and grounded. I want you to lower your hips about three quarters of the way and then squeeze them. Lower three quarters and squeeze up. Really juicy squeeze of your glutes at the top. Think about tracking your heels towards your bum. Really use those hands. The magic happens at the top of the bridge. So when you find about as high as you think you can go, can you go another half inch? Squeeze the glutes just that little bit more. Think about being really heavy in your big toes so you're not rolling on the outside of your feet. You want your knees tracking straight ahead, squeezing into the fitness circle, lifting through pelvic floor. This is a hard series. Last two. Last one. You're going to come up and you're going to hold. Stay here. All I want you to do is maintain the bridge and pulse into the fitness circle. So pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep your hips high. No tension in your neck. You're gonna feel side bum, you're gonna feel outer thigh. Five, four, three, two, not done. Release the fitness circle only to 10%. Lower your hips just one inch and just pulse your hips up, pulse up, up. 
It's a little tiny squeeze. Isometric hold on the fitness circle. Just squeeze those glutes. Try not to let those ribs flare. Keep them knitted together. Five, four, three, two. Hold at the top. You have one more set. Yes, you can. I want you to lower your hips one inch. As you pulse up, I want you to squeeze into the fitness circle. Release the fitness circle, lower the hips an inch. Pulse up and squeeze, release and lower. Pulse up and squeeze, release and lower. Keep going like that. Keep those ribs knitting together. Keep the tension out of your neck. Breathe. Pressure in your big toes. Keep those hips nice and high. Last four, three, two, last one. I want you to hold it at the top. Isometric hold. Sweep the heck out of your glutes. Sweep the heck out of your fitness circle. For five, four, three, two, lower your hips. Woo, grab your fitness circle. Place it aside just for a second. It's gonna go straight back. Grab your knees, pull them into your chest. Give yourself a little stretch. We're gonna do that whole series again, but we're gonna do it in high half toe. Nice stretch. And then you're gonna place your feet flat. Looks like someone may have joined us at home. We're using a fitness circle, which I don't expect you have at home. You can't even see me, actually. Look at that. <laughs> okay. That's not going to work, is it? Okay. So, yes. Now we can see. So we're using the fitness circle, which I don't expect you have at home, but perhaps you have um, a little squishy ball. And if you don't have a squishy ball, um, you can actually use um, a full roll of toilet paper. Believe it or not, <laughs> it's not glamorous, but it works. Yeah, <laughs> for the inner knees. So we're gonna grab the fitness circle. We're gonna place it back where it was. Now, if your inner knees are really bothering you, I'm sorry, I don't know all the names, you can go grab a squishy ball from the cupboard and use that instead. <laughs> <laughs> so our feet are gonna go flat again. Our arms will be long by our side, or you can float them to the ceiling right away. You need to walk your feet out a little bit closer. Now, you can do that whole set again in just with your feet flat. Or we're going to go into high half toe. So you're going to lift your heels and then you're going to walk your toes in a little bit closer to your body. So you're in that nice neutral pelvis. You've got about a 10% squeeze on your fitness circle or your ball or your roll of toilet paper, whatever it is you're using. You're going to inhale here and then as you exhale, you're going to tuck your tail through your imprint, hip roll up into your bridge. You're gonna notice you probably have more range of motion because of where your heels are. And if you can't walk tomorrow, I'm sore. This adds up pretty fast. So from here, we're gonna start by lowering three quarters of the way and then lifting all the way to the top. Full range of motion here. Inhale to lower three quarters, exhale to squeeze to the top. Now remember what I said about getting to your limit and then going an extra half inch, just adding that little bit more glute squeeze. Isometric hold on the fitness circle, ribs knitting together. The sneaky thing about this version of bridge is that you may not notice your calves killing until tomorrow. Squeeze up. We're gonna do three more here. Pressure in those big toes. That will keep your knees tracking straight ahead because the fitness circle is pressing against your legs and you're getting tired. 
Now let's hold the bridge at the top, and we're gonna keep our hips nice and high and just pulse into the fitness circle for 10, nine, eight, tons of side bum and outer thigh here. Six, five, four, lift your pelvic floor, be transverse about this connected last one. Release to 10%. Lower your hips one inch, pulse up for 10. Nine. Little tiny movement. This is all about the squeeze of the glutes at the top. Last five, four, three, two. Hold it at the top. We're going to combine those two moves for your last set. Lower your hips one inch. Pulse up, squeeze the fitness circle, release and lower. Up, squeeze, release, lower. Up, Squeeze, release, lower. Six more. Release the tension in your head and neck. Pressure in your big toe. Lift your pelvic floor. Last three. Squeeze. Two. Now this last one, I want you to hold up. I want you to hold the squeeze. Everything is shaking. Five, four, three. Two, lower the hips. Okay. Put that in a circle or ball or whatever side. Grab your knees, pull them into your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You might also like to do a version of happy baby here. Hold on to your ankles and then stretch the inner thighs. When you're ready, your feet are gonna go flat. You've got a, got a hip, a split's distance away from your bum with your feet. You're at, you're at hip width with your legs. You're gonna pick up that fitness circle one more time. You're gonna place it at the base of your skull. You may want to just wrap your towel around it for comfort. We're gonna do assisted ab prep. So I want you to take your hands and place them on the inside of the fitness circle just above your forehead. Your elbows are drawing towards each other, which is really going to help you connect into tricep. Now, we're not pulling on our head. We never do that. So what you're doing is you're thinking about your head being very heavy in the fitness circle. And you're thinking about length. App curl is always about length. It's like doing C curve when you're sitting. So you're going to inhale here, and then as you exhale, you're going to curl up. Head is heavy in the fitness circle. Maybe you can come up off those shoulder blades because you have a little bit of assistance. And then you're going to lengthen back down on the mat. Exhale. Curl up. Look straight through your knees, not at the ceiling, and lengthen back. Now, if you're noticing when you come up that you're tucking your tail and you're imprinting your spine, you're coming up too high. You want to keep that lumbar curve. You want to keep the nice tight, the nice heavy tail, and you want to keep your ribs knitting together. You're probably already starting to feel your arms. Exhale up. We're going to do four more. Challenge yourself to come up high without imprinting your spine. Last three. Last two. Blow all your air out between your knees. And then on this last one, you're going to go up and you're going to stay. You're going to take that fitness circle out and you're going to lift your right leg to tabletop. You're going to place one of the pads just below your knee. And if you want to take your left hand and place it behind your head for support, feel free to do that. All you're going to do here is maintain the curl and press into the fitness circle. You have to use your lower abdominals 
to keep your right leg from being pushed away. Oh, oh. Stay up in the ab curl. If ever you need a break, just lengthen back down onto the mat and keep going. You're still working. Three, two, one. Now I want you to hold the tabletop, hold the press, extend the left leg long. Press, press, press. Lift the leg and lower. Seven more. Point to lift, flex to lower. Keep pressing into the fitness circle. Keep curling up high. Last three. Two. Last one. Both legs to tabletop. Wrap your foot in a circle. Lower the head and shoulders for a quick little break. Inhale. As you exhale, nod your chin. Curl up. Bring both of your hands to the right side of your body. Then up and off that left shoulder. Squeeze your legs together. Pulse into the fitness circle. Okay. Nine. Eight. Draw your belly button to your spine. Four. Three. Two. One. Single leg stretch using the fitness circle. Lengthen the left leg long. Now I want you to go up and over as you switch. Up and over as you switch. You're trying to keep super stable in your pelvis. Not rolling from side to side. Reach it. Reach it. Keep squeezing the fitness circle. Three, two, last one. Bring everything back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Release the head and shoulders. Slowly put the feet flat. Extend your legs long, take your arm overhead, and stretch. That is not an easy series, and we got to do the other side. So really reach your hand away from your toes, feel the stretch in the rectus abdominis, which you were working for that curl up. And then when you're ready, you can bring your arms just overhead as you pick up your feet. Back to your supine position. Keep your flat hip distance. Tail is heavy, curving your lumbar spine. We're going to take the pivot circle and we're going to place it behind our head again. Base of our stump. Another set of ab curls to start. Your hands are on the inside of the fitness circle. Head is heavy into the fitness circle. Draw those elbows towards each other, shoulder blades down and back. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen up. Oh, your upper abdominals open and lengthen. Exhale, up. And inhale. Let the fitness circle support you without holding on your neck. Keep the tail nice and heavy. Keep the curve in your lumbar spine. Reduce your range of motion if you need to. Exhale as you come up. We have four more. Keep lifting your pelvic floor. Keep transverse abdominis connected. Lift with a pointed toe, 
flex and lower, seven more. I inhale to lower and I exhale to lift. For, for me, the lift is the work. Last three. Push into the fitness circle. Two. I know it's harder on this side. Adds up quicker. Last one. Bend that knee to tabletop. Grab the fitness circle. Release your head and shoulders. Take a quick little break here. Just breathe. You know it's coming. Get yourself ready for it. Nice, big deep breath in, tail is heavy, spine is neutral, inhale, exhale. You're gonna curl up through center and then over to your left. Pulse into your fitness circle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Extend the right leg long, single leg stretch, up and over, switch, up and over, switch. You need to go slow here. Use the fitness circle to reach and come up higher. If you go too fast, you're just gonna roll from one side to the other, and that's not what we want. Last four, three, two, last one. Bring your knees in, release your head and shoulders. Release your feet to the floor. Take your legs long. Take your arms overhead and stretch, stretch, stretch. Woo. Okay. Reach your hands away from your feet. Stretch through rectus abdominis. Let your ribs flare to get that stretch. When you're ready, knit those ribs together, draw the shoulders down and back, and then flip yourself over onto one side. You're gonna help yourself up and you're gonna take your fitness circle or not. If you're not gonna use the fitness circle, you're just gonna work in an opposite movement. So we're gonna do clamshells. Typically when we do clamshells, we work up and back. With fitness circle, we're gonna work the down. So if you don't want the fitness circle, just work the up and back like you normally do. Fitness circle will come between the knees again. Your feet are together. You're up on your forearm. Elbow is directly under your shoulder, so you're very supportive. You need to lift up and out of this side body. You can't be collapsing. It's not good for our joints. So up and out. Other hand can be in front for support. It can be on your hip. You're going to inhale here, and as you exhale, you're going to squeeze the fitness circle and release. Squeeze and release. We never want to release all the way. We always want just a little bit of tension. Keep your hips nice and stacked, and keep lifting through pelvic floor, and keep transverse abdominis connected. Lift through bottom waist, lift up and out of the shoulder. It's comfortable to start to sink in, especially as we get tired. Three, two. Now the last one you're gonna hold, you're gonna come up one inch, everything's shaking, do little baby pulses for 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the knees come open. Grab the fitness circle. Place it on the floor. One pad down. Bottom leg is going to go through. So your ankle's just resting on the fitness circle and holding it there. You're going to come down onto your side. You can cradle your head in your hands. And then you're going to place that other foot on top. Try not to sink into sideways. I find it easier to rest my head on my bicep. Then I can think about being long in this top hip and lifting the bottom side of my waist. I have a little mouse house under there. 
So lots of oblique support. I'm gonna place my hip, top hand in front or on my thigh if I can balance. And I'm gonna press down into the fitness circle and then release. Press down into the fitness circle and release. Keep your body very stacked. Keep long in your top waist. Don't think about bringing your ankles together. Think about bringing your inner thighs together. Last three. Last two. Last one. Release. So you've got about 10% on there. Now this one, you'll probably need your hand in front for support. Reach through the bottom leg. Really reach for the opposite side of the room. And then try to bring your inner thigh to your other room and release. Lift inner thigh to inner thigh and release. Squeezing the inner thighs. Try not to dump into the bottom waist. Keep the top waist long. Last three, two, hold the last one up, come down just an inch, do 10 little baby pulses up. Reach the legs very long, burn, 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 five, four, three, two, one, release it, and then you can bend your knees in. That's a little bit of a burn there. Help yourself up. Take a quick little break here while you're sitting up just before we get head over to the other side. You've got your feet in your mermaid legs or they can be crossed. You can tap like this. And we're gonna stretch. Inhale up. Use the other hand to support you and think up and over. Inhale up, windmill your arms over to the other side. Inhale up, if you're in those mermaid legs, just switch. And then we're going to inhale up and over. Windmill your arms to the other side. You'll probably feel that in that opposite hip. And then up, grab your fitness circle. We're going right over to the other side. So we start with those clamshells up on our forearm. Start by getting yourself stacked. So hip on top of hip, elbow directly under your shoulder, lifting up and out of that side waist, up and out of the shoulder joint. Feet are together. Sorry. Yeah, I do. You can kind of doing the are we doing the left leg? Sorry? Are we doing the left leg? Um we're doing the right Okay. Were you facing me last time? <laughs> so your hand can be in front or it can be on your waist and you're going to squeeze closed. And open. Squeeze closed. Every time you squeeze closed, feel the pelvic floor lift. It's not the most comfortable prop, but it's really effective. Notice as you're getting tired, if you're dumping into that shoulder, try and lift up and out of it. Really squeeze the inner thighs together and then allow your hip to open. Three, two, Last one, you're gonna hold closed. You're gonna come up one inch and then you're gonna do 10 little pulses. Keep 
lifting up and out of that shoulder. Keep lifting through pelvic floor. Four, three, two, one. Release, grab the fitness circle. Place your bottom leg through just to hold on to it. I'm gonna come right down onto my bicep and place my top ankle just on top. I'm super stacked, I'm in one long line. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. And I'm sending my top hip away from me. Trying to think about being long on the top waist, and I've got that little mouse house under my bottom waist. I'm gonna start by pressing into the fitness circle and then releasing to 10%. Squeeze, like you're trying to bring your inner thighs together and release. Nice long waist. Super stable. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's keep a little 10% squeeze. Now point the toes on the bottom leg. Think about reaching it very long, send the top hip away, and then squeeze that leg up, inner thigh to inner thigh, and release back down. As you lift, try not to dump into bottom waist. Just try and feel very long on top waist. Squeeze inner thighs. We're gonna do four more. Light hand, if you're using it for support, last two. Now you're gonna hold this last one up. You're gonna come down an inch and you're gonna do 10 little pulses. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try and keep that leg super long. Inner thighs feel terrible, burning, burning, burning. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Okay, grab your fitness circle. You might as well stay where you are and come right onto your back. And we're gonna take that fitness circle and we're going to place it between our ankles. And you're gonna bring those legs to tabletop. Already, this right here is a lot of work. Your legs are heavy. Your fitness circle feels like it weighs 50,000 pounds. I get it. So try to have a nice 90 degree angle, angle in your knees and your hips. Nice tabletop here. You're gonna inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna straighten your leg on the diagonal. This is right from the performance, bend and stretch. Inhale, bend your legs back to tabletop. Exhale, squeeze the fitness circle, extend the legs, and bring it back. Exhale. I have my hands behind my head just because it feels a little bit more comfortable for me. I have my elbows in my peripheral vision. I'm squeezing into the fitness circle. My ribs are really together. And then maybe I'm kind of thinking, do I want to add a curl up as my legs extend? Maybe I don't. That's a totally acceptable choice. I'm lengthening through the backs of my legs. This is great practice for teaser. This isn't about your quad. This is hamstrings and glutes. This is that eccentric movement. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Last two. Squeeze the foot in the circle. Last one. Bring the legs back to 
tabletop. You can take a little break if you want. Otherwise, we're going to do something similar, but the legs are going to come right to vertical. So you're going to inhale. And then as you exhale, squeeze the fitness circle, straighten your legs to vertical. Feel your lower abdominal. Oh my gosh. Bend your knees back. Table pose. Exhale, point through your toes, try and touch the ceiling, three straight screen legs, and then bend. Exhale. Inner thighs probably feel super terrible. I get it. Exhale. Last two, and then we do have a final set. Squeeze that in the circle, last one. Now we're going to combine the two movements. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up or not. Extend the legs on the diagonal. Bring the knees back in. Extend it to vertical. Bring the knees back in. Extend them on the diagonal. Knees in. Extend to vertical. I'm holding my curl up. It actually makes me feel better. Like it makes, it makes me maintain my abdominal connection better. But you can also have your shoulders down, or you can be working the ab curl up and down and up and down. Keep drawing your belly button to your spine. Last two. Yes, I know. Come to tabletop. Don't fail. Grab that hip to circle. Head and shoulders come down. Feet come down. We'll place the fitness circle aside. Arms are long by your side. Knock your knees together and walk your feet out. Really work that maybe over its rotation. See how it feels in your glute lead. You can even come on to the inside seams of your feet just to get your feet even wider. Work that medial rotation more. Then begin to walk your feet in towards each other. Let your knees separate. Bring the soles of your feet together, butterfly your knees. Inner thighs probably feel pretty terrible. Squeeze your glutes and encourage your knees to open more. Bring your knees back to center. Take a moment while we're still here. So power into your feet, pick up your hips and move them to your left a few inches and then drop your knees to the right. Moving our hips that few inches, just make sure that when we go into the rotation, our spine stays straight. Just breathe into that space you created. Bring those legs back to center. Power into your feet. Pick up your hips. Move through center. And then shift them over to the left two or three inches. Or to the right. And then drop your knees to the left. You can have your arm out into a wide T. Get a stretch in your pecs. Knees might not go all the way to the floor. It's totally okay. Then we're going to pick up our legs, bring our hips back to center. Pick up your legs to tabletop, grab behind your thighs, assisted roll up. Come to your knees. Now this can be done with or without the fitness circle. If you have pinchy traps, you might not want the fitness circle. So you're gonna come up to high knees. So you wanna pad up your 
your um, knees. You can just roll up your mat. But you're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna bring it out to the side and you're gonna press your pelvis forward. You wanna think about being between two panes of glass. Arms are gonna to come to the ceiling, holding onto the fitness circle or not. Ball's a great option too. Pressing into whatever it is you have in your hands, full range of motion, we're gonna do side sit-ups here. So you're gonna side bend, inhale, and then exhale all the way over. Press the pelvis forward, exhale. I love this exercise because it's challenging, but it's not impossible. And you will 100% feel your oblique strong. I also like the way the fitness circle keeps your arms where they're supposed to be. There's a tendency to do this if you're not stabilized. Two more. Really think rib to hip here. Now, before we go to the other side, we're going to drop the fitness circle. You're going to come down onto your hands, leave that left leg where it is, and you're going to shift your body back and forth. This is just a nice stretch after all the inner thighs you did. But of course, you want to keep lifting through pelvic floor and you want to keep transverse abdominals connected always. Come back to four point kneeling, get your wrists under your shoulders, and then you're gonna reach the left hand all the way up to the sky, rotate, and then exhale, thread. Stretch the inner thigh, send your hips to the ceiling. One more time, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, thread through. And then inhale, come back up to four point kneeling, bring that knee in. Feel pretty nice. Take the right leg out and grab onto your fitness circle. Recruit those abdominal muscles before you try to stand up. Make sure that knee is directly under the hip. This side could be tighter, could feel better. Arms are gonna come to the ceiling, press into the fitness circle. Inhale, full range of motion. Exhale, up and squeeze. Use that breath, press your pelvis forward. Really feel that rib to hip connection. Last four. Three. Obviously, the further up we go here, the harder it's going to be to get back up. Last. One. Right back up to center. Place the fitness circle down. Come on to those hands, shift your hips back, and then bring them forward. Keep lifting through pelvic floor and connecting transverse abdominis. As soon as you get into this position, your belly just wants to flop onto the mat. So we don't want that. Last one, shift back, shift forward. And come to that proper four-point kneeling, wrists under shoulders, inhale, right arm to the ceiling, lots of rotation, and then exhale, thread through. Send your hips to the sky, stretch the inner thigh, inhale one more time, up for the reach, exhale, thread through. Inhale back to that four point kneeling. Bring your knee in, push back onto your toes so you're in a ball shape. Hands are flat. Lengthen the 
in through the backs of your legs so you're in that forward fold position. Scoop your belly deeply, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, tuck your tail, roll yourself up. When you get to the top, roll your shoulders back. Head comes up, and you're all done. <laughs> Yeah. So fitness circles. Oh, that was really good. It's like hard. <laughs> <laughs>